Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly value, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimson Knights, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your host, femininity coach and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So there is a video that is going viral, shared originally, I believe, by Tariq Nasheed. I'm going to go ahead and play that video, and I'm going to read some comments, and then I'm going to read, we're going to talk about it. I'm so tired of y'all talking everywhere, everywhere. I got something to do with your booty. Okay. And if you hear a cat, he's right here. The cat that y'all be hearing. Anyways. Now, they thought it was funny. For those of you who don't know where they are, why is this significant? Because they are doing this on top of Elmina Castle. Elmina Castle is located in Ghana. And it served, among many things, it served as one of the portals for the transatlantic slave trade. On one side of this is the infamous Door of No Return. Um, this is on the coast. It isn't actually a castle um, where slaves were held in readiness to traverse the Atlantic Ocean. And typically, the slaves that were here were going to the uh, South America and to the Caribbean, mostly. And you can see even Willie D was like a strong gust of 300 mile per hour wind would have been perfect maybe next time. So somebody says, twerk, 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 giggle, 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 all while being explicit in the wrong setting, but also demanding respect without giving any. Okay. One lady said, it's a no for me. This is disrespectful. That's my opinion. I'm sticking beside it. So the point is, they're not taking it seriously. This is not the time to be shaking your butt for attention. How are you even in the mood to twerk at that time? Maturity level and thought process is off. I'm going to stop sharing that. I'm going to give just a little bit. I'm going to share a little bit of a screen so just so that we could get a little bit of... Um, context. Okay. This is a long article, but I'm not going to read all of it because the castle served um, different uses. But the later use of you the later years of Elmina Castle, although it was originally erected to protect the gold trade following its capture by the Dutch in 1637, Elmina Castle came to serve the Dutch slave trade with Brazil and the Caribbean. The castle later developed as a point on the infamous slave triangle transporting human cargo to America and the Caribbean, as well as raw materials such as cotton and rubber to Britain and manufactured goods such as clothing and weaponry back to the west coast of Africa. Under the auspices of the Dutch West Indies Company, around 30,000 slaves a year passed through Elmina until 1814 when the Dutch slave trade was abolished. Ceded to the British in 1872, 
Elmina Castle was rarely in use uh, until Ghana's independence from Britain in 1957. Thereafter, it became a training center for Ghanaian police recruits and even a school for a short while before being converted into a historical museum. The days of the slave trade may be long gone, but the interior of the castle is still a haunting reminder of the past. Not knowing what awaited them on the ships, those who made it to Elmina Castle were held captives in the castle's dungeons and subjected to all kinds of indignities, torture, and humiliation. The dark, airless dungeons in the basement were oppressive and received sunlight from only two tiny windows. Slave traders would cram more than a thousand slaves with no water or sanitation into a space that could barely fit around 200 people. These dungeons were uncomfortably cramped, filthy, and outbreaks of malaria and yellow fever were common. Food scarce, disease rampant. Prisoners sometimes had to spend up to three months in such unsanitary conditions before they were shipped to the New World. At the seaboard side of the castle is the infamous Door of No Return, which was a portal where slaves boarded ships that would take them on a treacherous journey across the Atlantic known as the Middle Passage. Revolts by slaves at Elmina were met with strong oppression. Some captives were either murdered outright, while others were placed in solitary confinement in an airtight, dark holding facility in the courtyard where they were starved to death. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing. And this is a place where they thought it was appropriate to twerk. If you understand anything, and I agree with the commenter on that post that said the, the thought process and maturity level is off. For most hyenas, it is off. It's like, how do you go to uh, such a historically significant place and not be able to feel the energy of that place and take it more seriously than to get on one of its roofs and start twerking. Like, what's the problem? What, a, what are y'all thinking about? Why does everything have to revolve around your butt or some part of your sexuality or some twerking? And I please, please, for the love of everything that is sacred, please do not jump into the comment section talking about twerking and African dance and let's not do that. Let's please, let's not do that because so many of our black female ancestors were made to do exactly that. Sarah Bartman was exploited all of her life because of her big booty. When you had to bend over and spread it open and bust it open for every manner of man that you were either ordered to do it for, or you were just forced to do this, forced humiliation and, and uh, sexual objectification that female slaves, once they started bringing female slaves, were subjected to. Having to be seductive, having to be sexually exploited because there was that happening as well. And for y'all to feel like that was appropriate to get on that rooftop at that moment in that place with that history and start twerking and giggling, talking about you doing it for the ancestors. Like a lot of y'all just not going to make it. And I'm, and that's sad. It's, it's so many that's in the lost value system. It's so many people that don't have any inkling of true spirituality or being able to resonate on a spiritual level and understand things from a spiritual level. Too many of y'all understand things only from a carnal level. And it's sad. It's so limiting in your life to never be able to express yourself or understand anything or have any other perspective in life than that which comes from and is derived from and surrounded within the transaction, especially sexually. And to only have the view of something carnal or something. Jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your host, The Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimson Eyes.